in the old Doug's Dirt Diary studio this week. Nurse had a bad back, but still getting work done. I had to dig all the stuff out, make sure it worked. And uh, there was a, a lot of things that happened this past weekend. It was an interesting weekend, and a lot of people, unfortunately, lost some cars, including 47-year-old Joe Klein. He's currently 17th in point standings at Fulton Speedway. I saw a quick video that one of his friends sent me. His crash was one of the scariest I've seen. And when you look at the car, it's not surprising that he needs a new one. But not as bad as it looks, is what he tells me. So let's head out to Beeville, New York. Joe Klein joins us here on Dugster Diary. Oh, geez, I just said it. It's actually the YouTube channel. How you doing, man? <laughs> Good. How are you? Good. So, so you're fine, first of all? No no nicks, cuts, bruises, anything like that? No, just, uh, no, I'm good. Uh, I was a little sore on Sunday, but, you know, that, that's, you know, you're going to be. Shoulders uh, but and stuff? As of Monday today, uh, not really. Uh, the, the wife took care of me. Uh, so she got me all, you know, bag bombed up and made sure I was taking ibuprofen and Tylenol, making sure I was taking hot showers and stuff so I didn't get stiff. So. Mm -hmm. She really helped out in that department, so I didn't. I didn't really feel a whole lot of it. Good, so. good. And with my back, I've been doing the hot shower thing too. For those of you who know yeah. that, that actually gets the blood working, and you stretch, and, and then cool afterwards is what you're supposed to do. So Absolutely. what happened? I only saw the clip at the end where you were already rolling. Uh, basically, what happened is, and on the start of the race, we went into one and two, and I got kind of, I kind of went up the track a little bit, and I, I think I don't know if I got bumped or if I just went up a little too high. I kind of got in the loose stuff. And coming out of two, um, I tagged the wall, and when I hit the wall, it pushed me back down into the track, and uh, I think it was the 77, I'm not positive, but I think that's who it was. Um, kind of hit, he hit me, but no fault of him. I, I mean, I came back down into traffic, and of course, they're trying to get around me. So he tagged me in the rear, and the car just started climbing the wall, and he was still there, and as he went farther along, it took me and sent me over so i rolled probably uh they told me anywhere from four to six times i rolled wow. and then landed on the roof so and i've got a couple of pictures here that i'm showing you you tell me that the car was not as bad as it looks because it looks pretty darn bad yeah it, it, it does look it i'll be honest it looks horrible <laughs> yeah <laughs> it looks I like there's nothing left it, yeah, it makes you want to cry but uh yeah, all that uh, money and time yeah <laughs> yeah fortunately enough uh, I mean, it, it is, there's an expense, but fortunately enough, all the major components, nothing wrong with them. Front axle was really? fine. Motor was good. Rear end was good. Fuel cell was fine. Steering box, transmission, everything checked out. I mean, we actually fired the motor Sunday morning. Really? Well, yeah, did absolutely. It, did it end up upside down or on its side? or? It ended upside down. I was on its roof. It was on the roof. Oh, wow. So a lot of times fluids get in there, and so it was smoking pretty good when you started it, right? Yeah, they started it before I got down there because I slept in Sunday. <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, by the time I got down there, they had already fired it, and he said they fired it. It started, it ran for about, they said about five seconds, and they shut it down. But, yeah, it did smoke. But um, what are you doing other now? than that, every, uh, <laughs> we stripped the car down Sunday. Uh, got all the components off of it already, so... They were making phone calls Sunday morning and found a frame, so we go to get it tomorrow. What do you do when the engine's upside down like that? I mean, because um, is there any particular process or anything you have to check before you fire it again? I call my brother-in-law. And he takes care of it, gotcha. <laughs> he, he, he's my motor guy, and uh, he told us, he said, go ahead and try and fire it. He said, if it fires, run it for a minute or two, and then just shut it down just to make sure it's going to fire. And he's going to come over in the next few, you know, either the end of this week or beginning of the next week. We're going to drain the oil out, take a look at the oil. And uh, the reason he said to run it, he said he wanted it to make sure that nothing jiggled and loosened up in there from the flip. I see. Because if we run it for a few seconds, everything will move. And he says if we find some metal filings in the oil when we drain the oil, he said now we're going to have a situation. He said, gotcha. But more than likely not said because when you flip he said that that motor shut right off he said because when you flip you fly all the gas will come out of the carburetor that makes sense and it'll shut the car off okay so, how, so was it easy to find a car because you're, you're a big guy right yeah uh yeah actually uh one one of our new crew guys he he's been around the racing world for a very long time um he made a phone call and 
we found it within probably minutes. Nice. So when, when we determined that the frame was bad, um, because we thought it, at first it was just a rear clip, mm -hmm. but then we saw the two by four when we got it down to the bare frame and the two by four was bent. And then there was, um, it looked like something like a hit the wall was part of it. Mm -hmm. And there was a big gouge in it. Oh, okay. So, at that point, we started making phone calls, and he found a frame through uh, Big Mel. Going so, to Niagara Falls then to get it? Yep. Tomorrow okay. morning, we go pick her up. Yeah, so, so. so depending on when you guys are listening to this, Joe might be very busy if you're listening Wednesday <laughs> night. So we can put a car together, no problem, in, in three days? No, no, no. So we're, we're going to miss a week. We're okay. Take, yeah, we're going to take this week off um, because Fulton's off next weekend anyway. Oh, for graduation. Because, right. uh, yeah, graduation weekend. So basically, it'll give me three weeks to get everything done, taken care of, buttoned up, and make sure we don't rush. Sure. Um, I think, you know, after an accident, you don't really want to go back out in a car. You're unsure if everything's Absolutely. taken care of. So. Yeah. Worst crash of your career? Absolutely. Not even close, yeah. huh? Okay. Um, yeah, nothing. I... I the worst thing I think happened was it had to be about 2010. There was a big pile up in turns three and four, and a car, a left rear of a car, was sitting on my foot. Oh jeez! But That's it was good. just because he kind of he kind of teetered up, and I was driving underneath, and he came back down. But that the worst I've been in. I've never okay. rolled or anything like that. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Cars can be rebuilt. Cars can be taken off and put on others. So it's going to be a busy week and a half for Joe Klein, but uh, sounds like he'll be back in the seat real soon. I'll let you go, man. I appreciate you getting back to me. Thank you very much. And uh, again, All right. I'm so happy you're okay because when I saw the crash, I was like, man, he's got to be hurt after this one. And then when you look at the pictures of the cars, you're going to go, oh my God, how did he not get hurt? So yeah. I'm glad you're fine. And please keep in touch and let me know how things are going. Okay, Joe? I will, Doug. Thank you. Remember, subscribe, guys. Hit the likes. Uh, hit the notifications. And, of course, all you got to do is hit that little blue E down there and it'll subscribe you. Of course, we're having fun here. We'll be back again with more later.